Hi, this is Rose playing at Crypto-Games.net, a Bitcoin and altcoin gambling casino. Today I'll be playing Blackjack at Crypto Games with Litecoin. So let's get started. So here we have Blackjack with a minimum bet of 0.001 LTC Litecoin. As you can see, I was doing a few test bets before I started. Um, so I'm going to click the Provably Fair tab. You can see here, provable fairness is a technology that is unique to Bitcoin gambling that makes it impossible for a player or a casino to cheat. The site gives you the next server seed as the SHA-256 hash. After that, you'll see your client seed, uh, which you can type in yourself, or you can click randomize here a few times, and then it'll randomize for you, which I'm going to be doing. Um, so then I'll just place my bet. I'm going to hit, hit. So after you place your bet, the server seed is revealed in the bet ID for your bet, which I'm going to show you here. That's what the server seed was when it was encrypted. So now all that's left for you to verify is that the SHA-256 hash is identical to what was given to you beforehand, and it was created from the seed now shown to you, hence proving the bet result hasn't been tampered with. SHA is short for Secure Hash Algorithm. SHA-256 is a cryptographic hash which acts similarly to a signature for a text or a data file. SHA-256 is a strong function that generates a fixed size 256-bit hash. What is important to note here is that cryptographic hash algorithms produce irreversible and unique hashes. Hash is a one-way function and it cannot be decrypted back nor can two pieces of data produce the same hash. I'm going to go ahead and open these two links that are given here, the SHA-512 generator and the hexadecimal to decimal converter. We're going to actually need the server seed and the client seed, which gives us the hash. It's kind of jumping the gun right there. There we go. Okay, and you can see the list of cards by number here. It goes 0 through 207. There's four decks being used, so 52 times 4 is 208. It goes from 0 to 207, that's 208 cards. Copied the first few characters of that hash, so we just get to converting, and we'll see the decimals 149 right there. Two seventeen is not a valid result, so it's going to get skipped. One seventy six. Seventy six. One forty four, two thirty two is not a valid result either. So it got skipped seventy seven, yay. Um, and if you're too lazy to do all that, you can just click the third party verifier. It's going to take you to dicesites.com and it's going to verify it for you. So you can see I got two sevens here, which were my hand, the t first two sevens that I got. The next two cards are the dealers, and that's the eight and queen of hearts, which they got. And I hit twice, so the next two cards were a two and a king, which is what was shown to me here. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. But I'm going to go ahead and type in my own client seed. And I'm going to add the non-sync feature, reap it, and see what happens. I'm going to stand there. Yay, I won. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm do the process all over again. I'm going to go ahead and close that.
109. 194. 243 is bigger than 207, so it's going to get skipped. I'm just going to do the next two. 161. 40. 186, 168. So again, here's that third party verifier. It's going to tell me the exact same thing that happened. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching another episode of Provable Fairness at crypto-games.net. Catch that winning spirit.